normally think of a school bus, that classic yellow hue comes to mind. Yeah, but don't be surprised if you soon see a bus that looks like a piece of art driving right down the road next to you. Like the Partridge Family bus, <laughs> right? Uh, photographer Alex Atwell has the story behind these uniquely Detroit school buses. Knowing that it's purple, I don't want blue or purple, you can pick the top. Whatever color you want. All right, who painted the monster? I need your color. What are you hoodlums doing to the school bus? <laughs> yeah, all well, right, that's exactly right. You know, it turned out that, uh, you know, back in the day, we'd get in trouble for painting this bus, and now man, they like it so much, they're willing to have us come and do it on their property. Nice beard. Thank you. Well, we are working with Ghostbeard. Met him today, but did Google him. Ghostbeard, one word. And learned a little bit about murals that he has done throughout the city and work that he's done, and we have the privilege of working with him today on this bus. I'll come over here and I'll, and I'll do some line work over here a little bit. So what we're doing right now is we're paying a, a school bus here for a local bus company called the Detroit Bus Company. This is fun. And they, they take people all over the city, show them the sites. They do pub crawls and fun events like that and provide the kids locally with rides to the school. Whenever you could take your profitability and turn it into something that also is able to give back, I'm very interested in being a part of that. We'll probably like paint it a color and make it drip down. This is the National Tourism Cares Program. They picked four cities in four different states across the United States to benefit from this program. And Detroit, Michigan was one of them. Okay, I learned that when you're watching a street artist paint like this, that if you mention that they have good can control, it sounds like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> so how's your can control? Um, mine's a little weak right now, but it's just a little more practice and I could get it down past. And the nicest thing is no matter what I do, he can fix it. I heard that and you're right. <laughs> so just staring at this side right now, I can see that those back three colors have to go up higher. It's always been something that I've appreciated. Maybe because I don't have a lot of artistic ability myself, it's wonderful to watch somebody create something, make something beautiful. It's really nice to see the shift in the culture and the acceptance of the people who are now trying to bring it into their world. It just feels great. I love the business that we're in. These are programs that are put together where us as tourism employees can come and volunteer our time and provide resources to kind of give back. Giving back through graffiti. Well, giving back through aerosol, man, that's it. Giving back through aerosol. Very cool. Have you ever done patio furniture or something where you get spray can finger? Yeah. It's like your whole hand starts to go numb. I can't imagine if you're doing a whole bus, right? <laughs> spray can finger. It is. It gets you. Hey, next on live.